welcome back to another episode on my channel. It's episode. Well, welcome back to another video on my channel. And, to, and in today's video, we're gonna we are gonna be continuing on with my series, with my new series on this channel, Dark Secrets introduced by your favorite TV shows and home and movies. And in episode three, we'll be talking about a very infamous. American film producer, well, former film producer, as episode three is the Harvey Weinstein massacre. This is the, the incident with this American film, this former American film producer is very similar to the, it's, it's a very similar incident to the stuff with Dan Schneider, just the fact the only difference with Harvey Weinstein, who is the American film producer we're talking about, American formative film producer we're talking about, the only difference between his, his incident, the incident involving him, and the incident involving Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider, like, the Dan Schneider stuff was just Nickelodeon. Harvey Weinstein, the Harvey Weinstein stuff was multiple movies, not just one brand, multiple movies worth, mul multiple movies, multiple loads of actors were affected by Harvey Weinstein. So the difference is the difference between Harvey Weinstein's the incident involving Harvey Weinstein and the incident involving Dan Schneider is it, Harvey Weinstein the incident involving Harvey Weinstein is more broad. It's a more broad incident. And has been more publicly revealed and publicly reported. Um first up let's Give a little bit of a let's give, let me give you a little bit of a description of who Harvey Weinstein was. Like I said, and he was a man, he's an American former film, film producer and current, and he and he was and he's now known as a convicted and he's now a convicted sex offender. In 1979, Harvey Weinstein and his brother Bob Weinstein, also very famous, just like Harvey Weinstein, co founded the entertainment company Miramax, which produced several. Successful independent films including Sex, Lies and Videotapes from 1989, The Crying Game from 1992, Pop Fiction, everyone's favourite 90s film from 1994, Heavenly Creatures, also from 1994, Flirting with Disaster from the same year that Scream came out, 1996, and Shakespeare in Love, also from 1996. He won an Academy Award for for producing Shakespeare in Love, and he also won seven Tony Awards for plays and musicals, including The Producers, the, uh, the musical, which is where Tom Holland got started his career on, and August Orange County. After leaving Miramax, Weinstein and his brother Bob founded the Weinstein Company after leaving Miramax. Weinstein and his brother Bob founded the Weinstein Company, a mini major film studio. He was co-chairman alongside Bob from 2005, from 2005 to 2017. Everything, however, changed Though, everything changed though, however, in October 2017. And now we're going to move on to what specifically happened on this very, in this very month of 2017. In October 2017, following sexual abuse allegations dating back to the late 1970s, Weinstein was dismissed from his company and expelled from the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts and Sciences. More than 80 women made allegations of sexual harassment or rape against Weinstein by October 31st. The allegations sparked the Me Too social, the hashtag Me Too social media campaign mentioned in the first episode of this series and subsequent sexual abuse allegations against many powerful men around the world. This phenomenon is referred to as the Weinstein effect. In May 2018, Weinstein was arrested and charged with rape in New York and then in February 2020 he was found guilty of two to five further knee counts. Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison and began serving his sentence at the Wen Correction Facility on July 20th 2021 where he was extend extradited to Los Angeles to face further charges at a subsequent trial where he was found guilty of three of seven charges on December 9th 2022. He was sentenced to 16 years in Los Angeles trial and his California prison term must be served separately from his New York sentence. I didn't, I didn't find out much about what happened after that, but I assume he's currently serving his time in prison. But, but the allegations 
were not made by some, the allegations against Harvey Weinstein were not made by some random people. They are made by some very, well, some very well-known actors and some, some very well-known actors to me and other people and some very well-known actors to other people that aren't familiar to me. A bunch of, there are a bunch of people who, there are a bunch of people who have, there are a bunch of people who have warned and told people about, as who, there, there are multiple people who have, there are multiple well-known actors and actresses that have, that have tried to warn people, people who watch movies and TV shows about Harvey Weinstein. If you want to find out more about this, watch the 10 celebs who try to warn everyone about Harvey Weinstein on the YouTube channel. Watch Mojo to find out on Watch Mojo. Watch Mojo. But before we do wrap up this video, I am going to, with the conclusion, I am going to tell you who these actors, about a few of these actors. Some of the actors who have tried to warn everyone about Harvey Weinstein are Angelina Jolie, Gwyneth Paltrow, Sharon Waxman, Mi Mi Mira Sorvino, Seth MacFarlane, creative family guy, Lauren O'Connor, Lena Dunham, David Carr, Ashley Judd, and Rose McGowan from Scream, from the original Scream. So that's it for the main segment, and now we have a conclusion, which is slightly longer than the previous two conclusions, but that's mainly because we have, have a bit more to conclude. Harvey Weinstein used to be respective, as we, as some, loads of people knew, as loads of people know, Used to, who a lot of people knew at the time was a, sorry. Let me restart. Harvey Weinstein used to be a, a respected film producer, but now he must spend years of his life, year, deserved years of his life in prison. The case of Harvey Weinstein shows that there is no that there are some bad people that exist in the movie industry, and Harvey Weinstein deservedly joins Dan Schneider on Dark Secrets, the hidden truth behind your favorite TV shows and movies, and I. And thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time on this series. In an episode that's close to my heart, being a, being a huge horror fan, because I'm going to be covering some of your favourite and some of the most well-known and popular horror movies by discussing the dark history of some of the best horror movies. So, the, the onset tragedies that happened behind the scenes in famous horror movies, but also the onset, onset dilemmas that the crew and cast faced in the, during, behind the scenes, during filming. Um, you will, if you want to know, if you want to, I, I, all the horror movies that we talked about will be revealed in the video. So, So yeah, if you want to, you'll find out what they, what those, what the horror films we're going to be talking about by what, in that episode, by watching it. Um, I have been your host, Jono Bryan, and this has been my new series, Dark Secrets, the 10 truths behind your favourite TV shows and movies. Please subscribe to the channel and click, and click the notification bell to catch up with all my latest videos. It will help me out so much, and I hope to see you next time another episode of dark history the secrets behind the hidden secrets behind your favorite tv shows and movies but until then until until the next episode I'm out. peace